time for the Cummins Real Estate Group show with Michelle Cummins and myself, Curtis Pope. Good morning, Michelle. It's been a while since we've done this thing live. It has been, actually. It's been since last year. Yeah, because we did a, a kind of a best of Christmas episode and a replay of a of a New Year's episode we did. So, yeah, it's 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 been a few weeks, so it's good to be back. How has your year been so far? Uh, you know, so far, uh, 2023 has been pretty good. 2023. Okay, what is one thing that you, if you could change in your life, what would it be? Uh, one thing I would change if I could change in my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, are we talking realism here or like? You know? Yeah, but you know, this is your life. You can do anything. So what would that be? Well, I'd love to be six feet tall, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anytime soon. <laughs> okay, well, there's probably some growth pills you could probably take, but let's not go that route. Yeah, no, I don't, they do that thing where they extend your leg bones, but it's apparently really painful, and I'm okay being 5'8". You now. could wear thick boots. There Nobody would know. They're there heels. Heels um, in the boots. I My one thing I would change, I, I can't really think of anything. Life's pretty good. I guess I wouldn't mind having just a little more time just to get through the days. There's always so much going on between work and family and coaching hockey and things like that there's not always enough time to uh you know do things like one of the things i'm trying to concentrate on this year is is uh taking a little bit better care of myself uh you know a little more self-care because my wife is even like you got to start taking care of yourself and not worry so much about us mm. so uh, it'd be nice to have a little more time to exercise and things like that i mean i play softball and things like that but it'd be nice to do something steady year round and be you know a little healthier overall. So I would say that I'm going to try to be healthier this year. So that's what I'm working on. Oh, time. Time is priceless. Yes. It's that precious thing. And that is that was your first kind of go-to is more time. And then self-care. That is so important because it is it is like taking a mask on a plane and putting it on yourself so you're strong to help other people. Yeah. Because if you could be the calm one in situations, right, and you could be the self-control, self-discipline, and, and do that self-care, it really does make a difference to everyone around you. And then gives you a healthier, happier, joyful, longer life, which yes. then is is in turn helping your loved ones. And my kids are now 16, 18, and 20, so I probably don't need to hold their hand through everything anymore. What is your word for this year? Like, I love having a word for the next year, that year coming up that that I focus on. My what was your word? My word be? for the year? Mm -hmm. I, well, I probably can't say it on the radio. No. Um, <laughs> no, that'd be my, my for last year. No. Um, gee, I've never never been asked that question before. What would my word be for 2023? Um, I, I'd have to think about that for a while. Okay. But what's your word for 2023? Because now you've got me interested. 2023 is delegate. Delegate. Yes. Last year, and that really is to be able to enjoy more time, right? So uh, living more wisely, delegate, which is helping other people. And uh, that's my focus is, is yes. So, uh, but last year it was relationships, really tr building stronger relationships really concentrate on relationships uh and then i had a word of the year that was um uh intentional so being really intentional with your moments with your days with your time with mm -hmm. your decisions with everything because sometimes you just roll through life and just you can't just let it go because then a year or two or five or 20 pass by is okay i'm gonna go with vacation that's my word for nice. the year because I have 30 vacation days right now banked between my vacation time and rollover days, and I really have to get better at using my vacation time. Oh, that's beautiful, Curtis. Okay, so, put it on a sticky yeah. note on your computer there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Vacation will be my word of the year. Vacation and time, I, and I it goes together. Need, I do need to learn. That's one thing I've always been bad at is using my full vacation allotment. I got people cursing at me right now that are listening to us going, you don't use your full vacation allotment? I don't think I've used all my vacation days in 10, 12 years. Or your sick days. I've never used a sick day exactly. in my entire radio career. <laughs> you are dedicated and you're yes. a workaholic and you definitely do need self-care too. So time, self-care, and vacation and how those three go really well together is interesting. Yes, that's very okay. true. It's funny, I, um, this, I mean, I haven't seen you in a while, and I was away for the holidays. Actually, it was an emergency that brought me down to Oregon, a family emergency, and I've been away, and um, uh, sad to say, unfortunately, I lost my father, who, uh, gosh, I look up to him so much, and uh, he passed away on the 19th of December, um, and what's funny is he was such a fighter. He fought through everything, and he had the best mindset ever, and... 
he, he double pneumonia is what ended up taking him and he's gone through dialysis losing both kidneys living without kidneys for quite a few months uh getting a live donor for my brother-in-law and um that was 12 plus years ago uh he went through all sorts of cancers throat cancer and skin cancer and uh a, c- a couple other cancers and uh every time he beat he went th- he got through it and he beat it and he beat it uh, and he always such a positive attitude he he worked he loved so much he eight kids I didn't know but he actually went to law school and yeah and he dropped out to support his children because they were just popping out kids right <laughs> so uh, he was the greatest dad I could have ever asked for uh, I called him pops all the time he made this vanilla um, that I gave to my clients in their gift baskets to go with, you know, Mike Cummins real estate mug. And um, I love the smoking gun coffee and they make a uh, label it for me. And so that was really special. That's one thing he made. And then he made this fruit cake, which is to die for really. Uh, it's my favorite fruit cake I've ever had. And my family just laughs at me. Nobody else liked it, but me, <laughs> but I, I didn't think anybody really liked fruit cake. So now I know at least there's one person. I didn't either really, but I'm telling you my dad's fruit cake and his vanilla is the best. Mm. I got the recipe. Oh, my goodness. I got the recipe like two weeks prior. I said, Dad, can you email me your recipes? But, no, he um, he was an amazing man, uh, the best the best person I've actually ever known. He never judged. He always had a joyful, positive outlook. He had humor. He was just so funny. And even, like, uh, even the last day, one of the last things he said was to us eight kids all around him was, you're stalling me like it's like a joke like he was ready to go to heaven and he's like why am I still here I remember he was sleeping for a long time uh, very restful peaceful and he woke up and he goes oh I thought I was dead and he was disappointed because <laughs> he woke up <laughs> and um and then he told us you're stalling me but what was really amazing is when all of us ended up resting our heads, you know, hours and hours and days, of course, um, and then just just that slight last, I was actually the last person to kind of put my head down on his bed. And and within seconds that I remember, one of my sisters had woken up and it happened. And it was just a mo- amazing. He held on until we were all restful. And then mm-hmm. <laughs> he finally was able to let go. But this time of um, family and time and vacation, he, his last words to all of us was live life that's what he said his last words to all of us as a family was live life and um that means so much and so i encourage you to definitely vacation definitely take time and and when we were at you know the family home uh, that brings me to family home you know my all my whole family came and we haven't been together for 20 years like all of us in in one space and now there's all eight siblings are you know um in-laws um except for richard's not u.s so he couldn't unfortunately go down uh to be there i uh, not allowed down if you're you know not u.s citizen so um he he had to miss it but everyone else was there and it was amazing it was amazing time of healing our relationships because some had been broken and uh, like my sisters were, you know, there's seven girls, one boy. And we're like, we haven't had a family home since California. Like since we were all kids, we haven't really had a family home. And so this vacation home is now like our family home, our safe place. And so I just encourage if, you know, that, that having that, it just teaches me even more so how much home, home sweet home. It means so much having a home to go to a home for your children, a home for your family. And it, yeah, it was, it was really special. So, um, yeah, I just, he was a, also a builder construct. He went into construction instead of law school and, you know, doing construction at MGM studios for seven years and, and uh throwing a football with elvis throwing the football that's what i whispered in his ear i said you go you can go and throw the football again dad it's okay <laughs> uh go throw the football and fish and all the things that he loved to do and yeah he he had a lot of fun doing that and he, of course he couldn't for a, a while at the end so um and and he's he did a lot of build outs in palm springs and palm desert mm-hmm. and what's interesting is he had this folder what marked michelle and i had my vanilla bean um extract that he made for me that was called my father's daughter um named after the movie that was filmed at my house in mission and then he had the plans for my beach house cuz you were, were going to renovate it and he was helping me out with that and then uh, he had all all these old plans of his builds that he did in oregon and palm springs mm-hmm. and palm desert and he did some 
develop like big developments. And so it's really neat seeing all the old plans and all his old tools, all his old rulers and little me- roller measures and uh, just really, really, really neat. So anyways, um, that's my tribute to my dad is uh, he was the best uh, person I've ever known. And 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 yeah, I feel for everyone who's lost a loved one. And Curtis, I know you lost your m- mom and that anniversary was recent. Yeah, yeah. I lost my mom 20 years ago in uh, November on her 64th birthday. So a lot of what you said there, uh, you know, hits home because it's it's true. It's like they 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 you know that that generation too is made of tougher, stronger stuff. Because my mom went through a lot too, and uh, and mom, funny enough, you said she had her sense of humor right to the end too. I remember my uh, my aunt told me a story of one of my mom's uh, last getting near the end, and so my aunt goes, "Look, Frida, I want to make sure you have, you know, is there anything you need me to you know, your affairs in order? Do you need me to do anything for you?" Is there anything you feel you may have missed or people you want to talk to or anything like that? My mom looks up and goes, I don't know. I've never done this before. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my goodness. And my aunt just, like, stopped her in her tracks for a second. And then they both laughed, you know, but just, I don't know. I've never done this before. That's where you get your humor from, I bet. Both my parents, actually. Yes, I have my my dad's, mostly my dad's humor, but my mom was pretty (laughs) quick-witted, too. But, yeah, no, it is tough when you lose a parent. Uh, for sure. And, uh, you know, I, I, I feel for you. I know exactly what you're going through. And uh, it's not fun. But uh, at the same time, you always get to celebrate the memories, right? You keep, yeah. them, keep them alive through memories. That's right. And, and love and live life because that's what they'd want us to do and keep on cracking those jokes. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, me and my mom, our big thing was watching the old Carol Burnett show reruns. Oh, my gosh. That but, is so fun. And we used to just laugh our heads off at some of these old clips of Carol Burnett and Harvey Corman and Tim Conway and... So if I'm having a bad day, I go back and watch some of those clips on YouTube. Some good stuff. Yeah. Well, we should probably take a break right now. I know when we come back, we actually have real estate to talk about because there's been a lot of developments lately. Yes, we got the new stats uh, just came out, and there's all those new rules and BC assessments. That's right. So we'll get to that right after this. So people want information about your listings and open houses, things like that. Where can they go? MichelleCummins.ca. We're back with more right after this.